Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Crazy Eights from 2006. It's from the second year of the After Dark Horror Fest, is directed by Jimmy Jones, and stars Dina Meyer, Frank Whaley, and Tracy Lords. I can say with absolute confidence that this is the worst film to be featured in the first five years of the After Dark Horror Fest that I witnessed. It is terrible on every conceivable level, and just when you think that the film has hit the rock bottom of shittiness, it somehow outdoes itself and digs the hole just a little bit deeper, until it outdoes itself again and digs a hole even deeper, and so on and so forth, until it mercifully ends an 80 minute eternity after it begins. I can find absolutely no information on any of this, but here's what I think happened with Crazy Eights. It wasn't even originally slated to be in the second Horror Fest. It only took the place of Frontiers a week or two before the Horror Fest because Frontiers couldn't, or wouldn't, lessen its NC-17 rating and so couldn't be shown theatrically with the other films. So what I think happened was the producers of Crazy Eights received a call saying if they could get their film finished in two weeks, they could be in the Horror Fest. I say this because everything about this film feels rushed or unfinished. The editing is lazy and completely without style, the score sounds temporary at best, and at times doesn't even match the on-screen action, and the opening titles are a boring single font that plays quickly on a simple black screen. Here's the only problem with that theory though. This film was reportedly done in 2006, the year before the second horror fest showed in November of 2007. The only explanation I can think of is that the film was so awful it was immediately shelved after principal photography wrapped in 2006. Then, a year later, when Horrorfest was short of frontiers, they said, Hey, isn't there a shitty horror film out there that just needs some post-production and then it'll be ready to go? And some idiot thought of Crazy Eights. It's so terrible they couldn't even squeeze out any half-ass extra features from the film onto the DVD. I cannot stress enough how terrible this film is. And that's hard to understand when it has good actors in it like Frank Whaley and George Newborn, but boy oh boy does Tracy Lords prove she can't act her way out of a softcore porn paper bag with this film. She's just the worst, almost as bad as the directing of the script. I give it an F- minus because there is nothing redeeming about it. Join me tomorrow when I dive back into the 50 decrepit Crypt of Nightmares collection with a long titled The River, The Legend of La Llorona. See y'all then.